from building rocket engines together to building satellites together, the Indian Space Agency, ISRO, and the French agency, CNES, have had a long history of cooperation. Now we are being joined by Mr. Astog from the French agency, CNES. So please tell us about the existing areas of cooperation between India and France in space. So, as you said, it all started in the 60s uh, with sounding rockets because the Professor Blamont, who was the first scientific director of CNES, came here in India uh, with the technology of sounding rockets. Then it evolved to uh, engines uh, with the uh, VCAS engine uh, that is uh, still in use uh, on the very uh, successful uh, Indian uh, launchers, uh, PSLV and GSLV. And now we are looking for the future. So the future is uh, Earth's observation. Uh, we will uh, confirm the cooperation on the Trishna um, cooperation uh, satellite, uh, which is a satellite uh, measuring the temperature of the surface of the ocean uh, to better know the evolution of the climate. So that's very, very important for both uh, countries. Uh, we will also sign an agreement for maritime surveillance. Uh, it's a two-phase agreement. One phase consists in uh, providing the data to India about uh, maritime surveillance from uh, assets we have in France. And in the second phase, we could develop together a constellation of satellites uh, to detect uh, the position of boats uh, and to control the traffic, the maritime uh, traffic. Okay. So Indian Prime Minister Modi is expected to visit France for Bastille Day. So what can be expected in the domain of space? More cooperation, rocket engines, uh, joint launch vehicles? First, uh, it will be the opportunity to uh, reconfirm the willingness of the two countries to reinforce uh, their, their cooperation in space. It is very important to have at the higher level in France and in India this political uh, view and willingness to cooperate together. Now, on the really concrete uh, part, uh, uh, we could also start a cooperation on launchers again on engines, new engines for future launchers. You know that in Europe uh, we operate Ion-6, Fegasi. Uh, in India you operate uh, PSLV, GSLV, SSLV and many other uh, small, uh, small, small rockets. We have to look to the future and the future in launcher is reusability. So we can work together uh, on reusability, on new engines, on new propulsion uh, systems, uh, just to, to, share, uh, to share the burden, because it, it's very costly to uh, develop this time, type of, uh, of uh, technologies, so we can do it together. And then, of course, this technology could be applied both in India and in Russia on an uh, autonomous way. So when it comes to uh, cooperation between India and France, can you also tell us uh, about this Trishna satellite, which will be a joint satellite? By when do we expect it to realize what is the current status? Um, we are entering the realization phase. We have been working together on that since uh, now several years, and it should be launched in uh, 2025, so that's very soon. Okay, so what kind of uh, rocket are we looking at? Are we looking at a launch from an Indian spaceport on an Indian rocket, or perhaps from French Guyana? Now, Trishna will be launched with an Indian rocket, um, but on the other hand, some big communication satellites, Indian satellites, are launched on, on, on Ariane. I think the philosophy is that uh, big satellites are launched on Ariane because they are too big for Indian rockets, but uh, the small satellites are, are launched uh, on, uh, on new rockets. So when it comes to the Gaganyan astronaut mission, please tell us about the kind of cooperation and support France is providing for ISRO. First, uh, we are very impressed by the Gagayanan, Gagayanan uh, project. Sorry, it's difficult for French people to say it. Uh, what India is doing uh, to man rated uh, the GSLV uh, vehicle is very, very impressive, plus the development of the capsule and the escape system. Um, so we are part of that uh, at, uh, at a small, uh, small part. We are providing uh, to, uh, to ISRO uh, some expertise on the medical side of that. You know that astronaut uh, as a medical training. We have a long uh, expertise on that in France because we did our first uh, main flight in uh, 1992. Uh, with Jean-Louis Jean Chrétien. And so we provide that expertise to, uh, to, to ISRO for the medical uh, training of astronauts.